Well, Baltimore's own Batman is being remembered tonight, not just here in Maryland, but around the world. Lenny Robinson loved being a superhero, but instead of real life crime fighting, he fought to bring smiles to children's faces. You see, Robinson was an ordinary man who became extraordinary the moment he put on a cape and cowl. A real life caped crusader. 51 year old Lenny Robinson spent 14 years as a Batman impersonator visiting Maryland hospitals. The death of Baltimore's Batman is getting national attention. Do me a favor, do well in school. Lenny Robinson had a gift. Very nice to meet you. For putting smiles on people's faces. Since his death Sunday, an outpouring of love for Lenny. He's part of our hearts and he will always be part of us. Maryland politicians, Congressman Dutch Rupersberger, Senator Barbara Mikulski, and Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake tweet their condolences. I love you, man. You're the best. You're the best. Thank you. You're doing a great job. I want you to do me a favor and get better. Okay. That'll make me very happy. And news of his tragic accident on I-70 is making headlines around the world. The Maryland man with his custom Batmobile Lamborghini, thanked by the automaker for the smiles that he brought. And by Ray Lewis, who calls Lenny a true superhero, urging people to pay tribute to him by loving unconditionally. At the end of the day, you must ask yourself, did I make a difference? He certainly did, and his legacy will live on. That's what he would want, is for the kids and the staff to carry on his legacy and his power and his courage. DC Comics, the publisher of Batman Comics, says our thoughts are with the family and friends of Lenny Robinson. And everybody's kind of been saying, if everyone can just do one thing to make a child happy right. a day, then it would make him proud. And his legacy lives on, but it is incredibly tragic. There, he's just so, he was so unique. You just don't find people like that right. very often. We were talking, Marilyn and I were talking over at Rio the other day, the woman that you just saw speak at the end, and we said yeah. there are a million other things he could have been doing with his time, but that's exactly where he wanted to be, was with those children. And it's just, it's just it's heartbreaking. Hard. Yeah, it's hard.